also have Dinesh Kara, Chairman of State Bank of India with us. Dinesh, what is your first reaction? Was it again on expected lines or are you a little surprised like most of us are? No, I was uh, expecting that RBI policy would be supportive of the growth. And the same it has turned out to be. And also, I think the most important, another very important development is the, is the guidelines relating to the CDS. That will go a long way in terms of deepening of the bond markets also. So I think uh, overall, uh, the, the, the policy is quite supportive for the kind of a growth requirement of the economy. And also, it will also be uh, readjusting the liquidity requirements. And uh, I think it will uh, address the anxieties of the market to a greater extent. But will it uh, address the anxieties of the not of the market, but of the people regarding inflation? No, inflation, I think, is... No, I was saying the liquidity-related anxieties of the market. But, of course, the people expectation in terms of the inflation, that also gets adjusted, gets taken care of well. See credit offtake increasing as a result of this kind of a policy? Yeah, I'm quite hopeful that the credit offtake had already taken, uh, had already started seeing the very strong growth trends. So hopefully it will it it will further get uh, supported with this policy. As far as rebalancing of liquidity is concerned, is it a, not a very tall ask to really be able to balance your liquidity just correct? in a system where we are really not remotely as you know savvy as western markets and even they are struggling to estimate the requirements of liquidity what is durable what is transient so is it expecting too much that the rbi should be able to balance liquidity both with variable repo as, as well as variable reverse repo operations now yeah i think it is more structured now the variable reverse repo calendar is almost certain and it is coinciding with the CRR maintenance schedules. So I think to that extent, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's a step, uh, step ahead in the right direction. Uh, the governor has spoken about excess capacity still being a reality. When do you expect this excess capacity to be uh, used up? Because unless there is demand, we will not see excess capacity being used up. So I do you think, see uh, demand returning to the economy? No, I think uh, with the kind of, uh, you know, the, the way we have navigated this third wave of corona that has actually announced the confidence of uh, the, the citizens of the country quite a lot and which eventually will, will, will start okay. showing up in the, in the demand trends also. Uh, Mr. Khanna, we've got a great budget which is growth uh, dominated, a credit policy which is supportive. So whatever concerns which everybody had in terms of policy making, decision making, trajectory of interest rate, do you think both the events out of the way now, things could look up? Yeah, because I would say that the consistency has been maintained both in terms of monetary policy as well as in the budget. So financial markets invariably don't like uncertainties. So I think, uh, so to that extent, these policy statements brings the, uh, the kind of certainty back into the system, which will eventually be supportive of the growth imperatives of the economy. Very basic question, Mr. Khara, on behalf of millions of borrowers. Based on the credit policy, can I safely say that the interest rate regime, which was expected to go higher in 2022, is unlikely to go higher? Home loans, car loans, they are unlikely to increase? For the time being, it looks like that. Projection of growth and inflation, I'm sure you looked at that number. Uh, do you think those are realistic numbers, realistic assumptions? No, I think as against uh, you know, now they have indicated the growth number at 7.8%. So I would say that it is uh, uh, it is more realistic. And I think the inflation rate also the way it has been projected, because currently the way it is and if at all, the the, uh, the kind of trajectory which you are seeing in terms of uh, the demand supply gaps. So I think perhaps uh, I'm sure they would have gone detail, uh, got into the depth of the of the situation, and accordingly they have projected the inflation rate to be coming down. I'll ask you one more question, Mr. Khara. 
the bond market reaction post budget almost at 7% now some cool off is happening since you are the biggest uh, uh, you know bank in the bond market what is your understanding of the bond market reaction post budget and then after the credit policy so i think the uh, cancellation of the first uh, 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 the the uh, the uh, raising program uh, money raising program on day before so it cooled down to 6.83 from 6.94 so whatever however the little more anxieties which were there which uh, with people i think given the, about the monetary policy so that also has been adjusted today and the policy rates have been kept unchanged so i think it should further cool down Ganesh, what kind of impact are you expecting as far as NPAs are concerned? Because many of the forbearances that were given earlier have since been withdrawn. Do you anticipate an increase in the NPAs? See, we were looking at uh, the behavior of the book where the restructuring was done, and uh, we were not having much of uh, unusual concerns on that. So I don't really expect that the NPA should uh, move up. You know, one of the fact, uh, features, I think, of the past one or two years has been the marked shift even amongst banks like yours towards retail lending rather than corporate lending. Not that there's anything against retail lending, but the fact is that ultimately investment has to come from corporates. So when do you see corporates turning to banks to borrow? We have already started seeing the trend as far as the corporate turning to banks. So I think hopefully it will get further standard. And for infrastructure finance? Yeah, infrastructure finance, we have, we have been supporting all through. So I think uh, we will, if at all, there are, uh, there are projects for infrastructure finance. We are very open to look at those projects and, uh, and support them if it, uh, if, if it meets our risk appetite. Thank you so much, Dinesh. It's been a delight speaking to you. And I, I know you're busy, so I'll have to let you go.